This is Andrew Tucker. Terrence Crawford sent a message to the 147 pound division. He sent a message to the 147 to 147 pound division. He sent a message to the welterweight division. Listen, I am here. And I'm here to fight everybody. I'm here to take over the welterweight division. Danny Garcia will be a good fight. Sean Porter will be a good fight. Keith Thurman will be a good fight. Jesse Vargas will be a good fight. But I'm going to tell you like this here. It's one man in a welterweight division. Earl Spence Jr., very special, good fighter. A good fighter. You may disagree or you may agree. Comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel. But I feel that Terrence Crawford is number one pound for pound fighter in the world. No Triple G. No Lomachenko. If they don't have him as number one pound for pound fighter in the world, he will become number one pound for pound, number one pound for pound fighter in the world. I agree with Floyd Mayweather that Terrence Crawford is number one pound for pound fighter in the world. I respect every fighter that that get in that boxing ring, that prepare for a fight, that that go through that go through the training camp, that, that prepare them, prepare themselves mentally and physically for a fight, that put in the work to come in there. Uh, and fight on fight night and dominate. You know, Jeff Horn wasn't an easy opponent. He was just the number one victim. He was just the number one victim. Like I told you before, in in another in a, in, a, in one of my other videos, that forty seven pound, one hundred and forty seven pounds is nothing for Terrence Crawford. When he's not in training camp, when on a, on a day to day basis, he's probably walking around like I said at one sixty five, one seventy. He it, it has been he it's already been recorded. This is coming out of his mouth. So, walking around sometimes at 165, 170 pounds, a little over. So, they're telling you that 147 is nothing for Terrence Crawford. 154 is nothing for Terrence Crawford. 160 ain't nothing for Terrence Crawford. But I'd rather he stay right there at 147. Become undisputed. You know what I'm saying? Unify. You know, do his thing. But check this out. I'm telling you, and I'm telling you right now. I'm saying this right now. Right now, for whoever watched this video. Listen to me, and listen to me carefully. Lend me your ear. Hear me, and hear me well. Terrence Crawford is number one pound for pound fighter in the world. And I believe the man that's going to give him Epic, a great fight as far as when it comes to the welterweight division will give him a good fight and will be the other man that could possibly possibly be the man be the man to beat him and that's Earl Spence Jr. you know what I'm saying now, when it comes to Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence Jr., I have that a 50-50 fight. A 50-50 fight. I'm not going to make this a long video, and I'm not going to go into detail on why I think that it's a 50-50 fight. You guys already know why it's a 50-50 fight. Because both of these guys are dangerous. Both of these guys are very talented fighters. They're very skilled. But let me be honest. I'm just going to be honest. This is my prediction. I could be wrong. I could be right. This is my prediction. And I'm saying it. I'm going to be the first to say it. Because nine times out of ten, I could be right. You know what I'm saying? Terrence Crawford. What I strongly believe will be, if not number one pound for pound fighter right now, he will be number one pound for pound fighter in the world. Number one pound for pound. He will be the man. The number one pound for pound fighter in boxing. I feel that 
He is the man. At 147. I'm saying it already. You know why? Because I know. I know. That. He. Will win. Over. The top welterweights. In the welterweight division. The only man. I feel. That's going to. Bring. The best. Out of him. And push him. And make him. Fight. And bring, 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 a, bring a whole nother Terrence Crawford. I'm talking about bring a whole. It's gonna make you allow you to see a whole other side of Terrence Crawford. I believe that number one man is gonna push him just a little bit, just a little bit harder than the rest. Is Errol Spence Jr. But I strongly believe that in that fight, Terrence Crawford will win. I just think that he just one step, uh, just just one little step above, one little step above Errol Spence Jr. Just one little step above. They both have heart and determination. They both have that willpower. They both are skilled. They both are dangerous. You could say Errol Spence a little bit bigger, stronger. They hit hard. They both hit hard. They both hit hard. Errol Spence bars. Well, with bigger guys, Terrence Crawford spars with bigger spars with bigger guys. So believe me when I tell you, both of these guys, both of these guys is gonna come in that fight and be ready to take over and to be ready to prove who was the best at the welterweight division. And I just strongly believe I have to give the edge to Terrence Crawford. And I strongly believe you heard from me first that Terrence Crawford. Will be the last man standing as far as his generation in the welterweight division. Terrence Crawford sent a message to the welterweight division. He sent a message. He sent a message. Listen, I'm here and I'm here to take over. The takeover is real. Terrence Bud Crawford, number one pound for pound fighter. In the world. Undisputed. I'm out.